This technique I'd like to share with you now is based on an old uh, cover of Photoshop User Magazine from 2001 where they we took a, a photograph, make it look like a line drawing and had a paint kind of dripping on it. Well, again, as is often the case, it'll be a lot easier for me to show you and you'll see the result at the end. So we start off by duplicating the background layer. I want to turn this copy into what looks like a line drawing. There's a couple of ways of doing it. One way would be to use this uh, filter called Smart Blur and in here one of the options is called Edge Only and then I can play around with the settings to try and get the effect that I want. Click OK. It takes a moment. And then we just invert it to get the effect we want. That's not too bad but let's just experiment with another one just to see just undo a couple times. In this case I'm going to use Stylize Find Edges. I'm going to then use Image Adjustments Threshold which will remove all the color and now as I move my slider, I like this one honestly a little better just because I can sort of more interactively decide the amount of black and white that I want to see. So I'm going to go with that one there. Okay. Now, I'm going to move the layers palette out of the way because for the next step I have to try and do some lasso work to try and create the dripping effect. So I'm going to basically just start moving along and every so often pull a drip down. Now I'm not going to be terribly worried about doing it perfectly the first time because what I will do is fix it up with a layer mask shortly. So for now I'm just going to kind of show you the idea of what we had in mind. Try to keep it fairly smooth. Oops, there's a glitch there, but we'll fix that and go all the way around the outside like that. So that is selected. Let's just fix this one while we can. I'll hold down the shift key and just at least smooth this part off and maybe add another little drippy thing there. Okay. Now all we do is we're going to add a layer mask but I hold down the option or alt key so it selects the opposite because I basically want the color on top and you see, so basically we've masked the top part here like this. Now at this point, as I mentioned, if it's not looking very much like, the, like this drip right here doesn't look very realistic, so I'm just going to take my black paintbrush and just kind of touch that up a bit. I could do anything I wanted in terms of, you know, adding more drips. And that's the advantage. You can basically start off, as long as your original selection is half decent, then you can certainly fix it up and if there's any part that looks not so great we can fix it here. We can even add a few little you know drip marks, little spots, splats that have splatted down something like that. Now you'll notice I'm using a hard edge brush because we don't want feathering in here that would not look very good. Alright now that looks okay but we want to make the paint drops look a little more beveled. And the problem is it's very hard to add beveling to something that has a layer mask on it. So one of the ways I'm going to do this gives me some options. I'm going to hold down Command or Control and click on the layer mask to load it as a selection and then inverse because I basically want the same shape as the top. I'm going to add a new layer. Let me bring this in so you can see what I'm doing. Add a new layer and I'm going to fill that with some color. I just happen to have yellow as my current color. Now on that yellow layer we'll add the bevel and emboss look that we want. I just want to get this in close enough so you can see it. I want it to be a fairly large bevel with a fairly soft edge to it. Now don't worry the yellow will go away shortly as it is you could also experiment with these different contours, but be careful because some of them do actually change the color in here, so you don't want that to happen. So we'll click OK to that. Now, the last couple steps, we'll remove the fill, so all we get is the beveled edge. But as you can see, it these parts drops look pretty good, but the edge in the top is being beveled. I don't want that to happen. So once I'm happy with the settings, I'm going to open this up right click on Windows, control click on the Mac and choose create layers which will turn the bevel and the boss into separate layers up here at the top. So basically now I can take my lasso tool and just go in here and say get rid of this whole part 
deleted off both layers so click on one then click on the other now I'll move this up over here and basically whoops misclick there just go around and do this part as well something like that so we're going to delete it off both the highlight and the shadow layer okay and so there you have the idea basically it's kind of trying to look like a drawing where we're paint is gradually dripping through and this didn't frankly come off exactly the way I had in mind but the main principle the main concept of course for me as always is the case is to show you the idea and then you people who are the artists out there can actually take this concept and make it into something much more beautiful and compelling than I could ever do take it and run with it won't you please thank you Hey, this is Dave Cross. Sorry, I got really nothing inspired to show you this week. No little tricks, no kind of fancy stuff. Just asking you, have a good day. And, you know, when you're thinking about your next Photoshop purchase, just, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Have a good week. We'll see you next time.